Hey guys, Jay Witt here. Today I'll be showing you how to repair scratches and curb rash, as well as paint your hubcaps to restore them to like new condition. This restoration is easy and inexpensive, with all the supplies needed costing around $25. I will list all the products in the description below. And soon enough you'll be able to transform your hubcaps from this to this. This restoration can be broken down into three easy steps. First we're going to thoroughly clean the hubcaps with soapy water, next we're going to sand the hubcap smooth, and last we're going to paint the hubcaps. So let's get started. First you have to remove your hubcaps from the rim. The mine clip in and pop right off easily, as demonstrated here. But if you have bolt on hubcaps, you'll have to jack up the car and use your lug wrench to loosen each lug nut. Then take off your hubcap and put the lug nuts back on. And if you have a screw on hubcap, you'll have to loosen the plastic lug nuts with a lug wrench and remove the hubcap. Once the hubcaps are removed, you're going to clean and degrease them with warm soapy water. I used a dish rag as well as a couple different scrub brushes to clean both the front and back of the hubcap. Cleaning the back of the hubcap will minimize the risk of contaminants such as dirt and grease from making its way onto the front of the surface while handling and moving the hubcap. You're going to want to give a thorough cleaning to ensure maximum paint adhesion later on. The better job you do of the prep work now, the better your final product will be. Now we're going to sand down the curb rash with 320 grit sandpaper. I'm sanding in a circular motion to remove and smooth out the deep gouges within the plastic. I will continue sanding until the surface is smooth. Here's a close-up shot of me sanding down some curb rash until it is smooth. Once you're done smoothing out the curb rash, you're going to want to do a light sanding all over the hubcap to smooth out all other scratches and remove embedded contaminants within the paint, providing a fresh, clean, and uncontaminated surface for the primer to adhere to. So for the last step in the sanding process, we're going to use 600 grit sandpaper and do a light sanding all over the hubcap to smooth out the scratches made with 320 grit, providing a prep surface for the primer to adhere to. If you notice your sandpaper is getting caked up, just give it a couple flicks and that should remove all the paint that's stuck on it. Also, don't forget to wear a face mask while sanding to protect from inhaling the paint particles. Here's a look at the surface of the hubcap after I completed the sanding step. Once you're done sanding, you're going to want to give the hubcap a thorough cleaning with some alcohol and paper towels. You'll know you're done cleaning once the paper towel is free from any paint particles. Now we're going to tape up the emblem to protect it from being painted. Our first coat of primer paint should be a light and even coat. And while spray painting objects, you should always start spraying before the object and finish after it to help provide that even coat. You're going to want to wait about 5 minutes before applying each coat. And it's good to spray from different angles to ensure maximum coverage. Here's the third coat of primer paint. This coat should also be light and sprayed from different angles. I found with spray paint, you get the best results from multiple light coats. Here's the fourth and final coat of the primer paint. This coat is a little heavier and more focused than the other three coats. You'll see I run up and down each spoke as well as around the outside rim for maximum coverage. While spray painting, remember to paint in a well ventilated area as well as wearing a face mask for protection. You're going to want to wait at least an hour before the next coat of paint. Here's what the final primed hubcap looks like. So after an hour, we're going to do the first steel colored coat of paint. Again, these coats should be light and even. You should always start before the object and finish after it to provide that even coat. 
Again, you're going to want to wait about 5 minutes before each coat. And remember to spray from different angles to provide maximum coverage. Here's the third coat of steel colored paint. Here's the fourth and final coat of steel colored paint. Now this coat's a little heavier and more focused than the other coats. And I run up and down each spoke as well as around the outside rim to provide maximum coverage. You'll find while spray painting that there are some hard to reach spots. Here's footage of me spray painting them lightly. So once the steel coat dries, you can finish with the clear coat. Again, this coat should be light and even and sprayed from different angles to provide maximum coverage. Here's the second light and even clear coat. Here's the third coat, again sprayed from a couple different angles. So here's the fourth and final coat. Now this coat is a little heavier and more focused than the other coats, where I run up and down each spoke and then around the outside rim to fully cover this hubcap. Once that final clear coat dries, the restoration is fully complete. I'd wait 24 hours before putting the hubcaps on so you can allow the paint to fully cure. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.